I'm Dr. Sharon Jones Eversley with the Family Studies and Community Development Department here at Towson University. Today I'm going to give you an overview of a theoretical framework that we use when we engage our students to work with families and communities. It's called Appreciative Inquiry. Many of you may not have heard of it, but it is an excellent way of blending practice, theory, and experiential learning, particularly in working with communities. There are four different phases to the appreciative inquiry. The first is that you have to discover. Second, you have to dream. Third is design, and the fourth is deliver. With this perfect blend of moving and engaging community residents and mobilizing residents to a plan or to change a practice or policy, we're looking at the discovery phase, the first phase. They're given an opportunity to be reflective of their past, not just looking at the problems of their past, but also looking at the strengths. And then after that reflection, they go to the phase of dreaming. This sounds elementary, but they use their imagination of what could be, what should be in their community. Thirdly, they go to the phase of design. They're coming with it with a real strong historical perspective, with creativity of what should be, and they design a plan to work for them to solve their challenges. And lastly, deliver. Deliver a process that's creative and that can actually be beneficial. Aristotle has a famous quote that says, to educate the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Appreciative Inquiry gives our students the tools that they need to engage in real-time learning with real people impacting real policy, real communities, and real practice.